Hey everyone, Laura here from testprepinsight.com and today we're diving into and reviewing the Kaplan MCAT prep course. We've reviewed this course before, but Kaplan has made some major changes since then, adding new features to improve their previous MCAT course. We've repurchased and re-reviewed the program to assess these changes and updates accordingly. We're excited to cover these changes here and talk about how Kaplan measures up against other popular MCAT study courses. By the way, we're covering the higher level details of Kaplan MCAT in this video. And if you'd like to know more, you can always check out our full detailed written review on our website. Just Google Test Prep Insight Kaplan MCAT Review to find it. Okay, as we get started here, I wanna begin with how the Kaplan MCAT program works and what life looks like inside the program day to day. I think it's really important to have a feel for how Kaplan MCAT fits into your life. In this case, Kaplan does an exceptional job of tailoring its program to fit into your schedule. It's important to note that Kaplan offers on-demand, live, in-person, and personal tutoring programs. For the extra ambitious, Kaplan also offers an MCAT prep program with a score guarantee and even an MCAT bootcamp. Today we're starting with the self-paced and on-demand course options, and then we'll move on to the in-person and private tutoring options. The on-demand course is self-paced and flexible enough to fit any schedule. It's driven by a structured study schedule and calendar form that for the most part tells you exactly what to do every day. With the on-demand package, you have 24-7 access to pre-recorded teacher-led instructions. With this package, there's no concern about scheduling lessons and you work completely at your own pace. Kaplan has a reputation as being the gold standard in the MCAT review space, including the on-demand course, which is their most budget-friendly option. All Kaplan MCAT courses include 17 full-length practice tests, which is incredible. Six of these tests are from AAMC and they're all super realistic compared to the actual MCAT. There are also more than 10,000 practice questions, customizable quizzes, and in-depth explanations. Even with the baseline on-demand course, absolutely everything you need is provided. Plus, you are the captain and have full control over the pace. So let's move on now to the live course option, which includes everything from the on-demand course plus 42 hours of live stream interactive lessons online, expert instruction from a teacher who scored over 520 on the exam, and even personalized homework assignments. The live online MCAT prep course is Kaplan's most popular package, and for good reason. The combination of expert instructors and personalized assignments are key for setting MCAT preppers up for success. Kaplan used to have fixed class times, but they have switched this up and now offer flex classes with multiple sessions through the week. The flexibility is a huge plus for busy students. This has really been a great improvement that Kaplan has made to their program. If you're an on-demand student and don't get the live classes, you'll have strategy-based modules added to your calendar instead. Kaplan makes sure that you don't miss out. The next area I want to briefly cover is what the study schedules of these two courses are actually made up of. Most days will be about learning modules, and there are two types. The first are the content refresher modules, which are all about reviewing and refreshing the hard science tested on the MCAT. The other type is called application modules, and this is where you put all the hard science into practice in the same way that it's applied and tested on the actual MCAT. Now, looking at the structure of the modules, both look more or less the same. You start with a brief placement quiz that is about 15 to 20 questions. So it's not too painful, but it provides the program with a good idea of where to begin your learning within the module. If you score in the 70 to 80% range, you can usually test out that module and move on to the next assignment. So let's take a step back now and assume you don't hit that high threshold. You then watch a number of video lessons. On average, there are about two to three videos to watch but they're generally short. I'd say most fall in the 10 to 50 minutes range. There are some that are both shorter or significantly longer, depending on the module. Some students might need a more in-depth overview than what the shorter videos provide. In this case, Kaplan has you covered because they provide the exact chapter of the prep book that aligns with the video lesson. 
This makes it super easy to take notes and get some extra practice. After you've completed the video lessons in the module, it's time to take a deep breath and finish with the review quiz. The format and length are similar to the placement quiz you took at the beginning of the module. So that's it for the modules, but you can also expect to find sequenced mock exams, AAMC and CARS practice assignments, and practice test review sessions on your calendar, depending on the course you select and if you choose to upgrade. In addition to the on-demand and live online courses, Kaplan offers what I consider to be premium course options. I'm talking about in-person classes, private tutoring, an MCAT bootcamp, and a program that guarantees a 515 plus score. These are all on the pricier side, but worth it if you're serious and have the extra funds in your budget. All of the premium courses feature the same core components as the other packages. However, the in-person option features a full 42 hours of interactive instruction, and you learn in an environment that is free from all the typical distractions. The private tutoring course includes the complete live online course, but with the benefit of one-on-one -on -one interaction and tutoring from a 520 plus instructor, both the 515 plus course and the MCAT bootcamp are designed to ensure you earn at least 515 on the MCAT. The main difference between these two courses is the level of intensity. The bootcamp is condensed into five super intense weeks of study, while the 515 plus course provides nine months of study access. I want to take a minute and point out a Kaplan MCAT feature that isn't directly assigned to your schedule in any of the courses. I'm talking about the QBank. The Kaplan QBank is an exceptional resource of more than 3,000 questions for practice work. You can jump into the QBank between modules and work practice problems that align with what you've learned or where you need to work. This is very similar to the Kaplan study books, where the material is intended to be more of a supplement to the video lessons and extra practice as needed. Last, there are the live workshops, which are open to both the live, online, and on-demand students. Each day, Kaplan has at least a few live online workshops or office hour sessions, where you get a very deep dive into one particular topic and can ask questions. For on-demand students, these workshops are super valuable as they're almost a pseudo class replacement. They're all totally optional, but I highly recommend them. And that's really the Kaplan course in a nutshell. I know that sounds very high level and it is. So if you do want some more detail, you can check out the full detailed written review I mentioned earlier. I'll have it linked down below in the description. There's way more information in there if you want to check that out. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of what's included in the Kaplan MCAT test prep and what to expect, I'm gonna switch gears and talk about the pros and cons, meaning the areas I feel that Kaplan really excels with its MCAT test prep and where I think it could use some improvement. But before we move straight into talking about pros and cons, let's quickly touch upon cost and how Kaplan compares to other MCAT prep courses in terms of price. Currently, Kaplan offers the on-demand MCAT prep course for about $1,600. The next step up, which is the live online course, costs about $2,700. From what I've seen, about 80 to 90% of students will choose one of these two courses. For those of you who prefer a more one-on-one -on -one experience, the in-person course is about $3,200, and the private tutoring plus online live combination is about $3,600. You can expect to pay about $3,600 for the 515 plus course and in the ballpark of $7,300 for the MCAT bootcamp online. Now I realize there can be a bit of sticker shock when first hearing these numbers. They do sound high, but let's quickly compare Kaplan to the cost of other mega MCAT prep providers. We have Princeton's self-paced MCAT review, which is similar to Kaplan's on-demand course priced at about $1,600. Princeton's live online course offers multiple options, but the base option is about 3,000. So again, pretty close to Kaplan. As far as other providers go, Blueprint also charges about 3,000 for their live online option. Honestly, the comparable pricing is a bit of a shock given how fierce the competition is between MCAT prep providers. However, one thing I will say is that Kaplan is pretty aggressive when it comes to their deals and special promos. You can almost always find a great discount on any of the courses. So please make sure to check for codes. 
In fact, I'll do my best to keep the description box below updated with the most current coupon codes that I can find floating around. So before you buy, make sure to check the text below the video. Chances are you can save at least 10% if not more. All right, so now that we have the pricing details out of the way, let's jump into the pros and cons to help you make this important decision. The first highlight of the Kaplan course is its revamped video lessons. Now, I think these video lessons are simply awesome and bring them in line with Blueprint for some of the best in the space. These video lessons check off all the boxes. They're engaging and have all the elements we look for. On-screen instructors, helpful visuals and graphics, short length, high yield content, you name it. Kaplan has it covered. Then the second element we really like is how Kaplan has integrated all their materials. The video lessons, prep books, and QBank all tie into one another. For example, if you're watching a video lesson on isomers, but feel like you need more detail, we'll direct you over to chapter two of the Organic Chemistry Review Book for more in-depth notes. If, after the video lesson, you wanna work on practice problems that target what you learn about isomers, you can create a custom quiz in the QBank that only has isomer problems. Essentially, all of the material is grouped by topic and ties in with itself. When you're studying for the MCAT, any help in the organization department is always appreciated. Then the third pro is Kaplan's module structure. I really like how Kaplan has designed their modules with the three steps of a placement quiz, followed by video lessons and a final review quiz. For one, it makes sense that if you already have a firm grasp of the material, you can test out. But more importantly, assuming you work the module, it's just a very natural flow. You warm up and set your baseline with the placement, then learn with the video lessons and supplemental reading. This is followed by the review that drives home what you learned and then the review quiz. We just really like the bite-sized modular approach. Then, when you do the one-two punch of content refresher and application module, it becomes a really powerful, effective way to study for the MCAT. Okay, our fourth highlight is the workshops. As I already mentioned, no matter which package you choose, you get unlimited live online workshops. This also includes Kaplan's AI Tutor, which is a great tool when you're stuck or quickly need further explanation. With the live online workshops, there seem to be about three or four sessions per day, and they're very useful. For most, it isn't necessary to attend every session unless you need extra emphasis in certain areas. They really take a deep dive approach and get into the nitty gritty of the subject they're covering and are fantastic for extra review. The live office hours are especially helpful for self-paced students if you have lingering questions or hangups. There's always a second instructor working the chat function and you can ping them with questions. Basically, these workshops are just a really nice bonus feature you don't get with other MCAT courses. Finally, I bet you never thought I'd get here, are the books and I'll admit this is kind of a love-hate thing. Kaplan's books are awesome. There's no denying this fact. To their benefit, they're insanely detailed and have great visuals and literally give you everything you need for the exam, if you know how to use them. If you rely on them too heavily, you're just gonna bog yourself down because there's simply so much detail in them. However, if you can find a groove for leveraging the books where needed around the video lessons, they're a fantastic resource. We have reviewed a ton of test prep books and Kaplan has the market cornered for being the most in-depth prep books in the space. Plus the Quick Sheets book they give is a really nice cherry on top. That's a great cheat sheet for reviewing in the last few days. All right, now let's talk about the negatives with the Kaplan MCAT program. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter and everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description. It takes less than 10 minutes and hey, you never know, you could win a free Kaplan MCAT course. All right, let's get back on track with the not so great points. The first drawback we see with Kaplan is that this program is almost a little too flexible. Yeah, I know flexibility is a great thing, but let me explain. There are just a lot of elements in this course that are optional. For example, the optional reading with each video lesson 
or the optional practice problems in the QBank. The list of optional components goes on, and the problem with this is that it can easily become overwhelming, with some test takers even missing out on using features that could make a difference in their test score. While the flexibility is good because it accommodates so many different learners along with each person's individual strengths and areas for growth, the sheer amount of optional material can be a little hard to figure out, especially if scheduling study sessions isn't your strong point. And that sort of leads into my second downside, which is the course load. Kaplan's course load can feel a little heavy handed. In total, there are more than 500 hours worth of study material. And this doesn't even touch on what's included with the live classes and unlimited workshops, which can account for hundreds of hours on their own. Considering the average MCAT test taker is likely to spend only a couple of hundred hours studying, the time worked into this test prep just feels a little like overkill on the material. I think thinning down the course a little, streamlining the material, and giving firmer assignments would be a great improvement to an already exceptional program. To be fair, as test day approaches, Kaplan will start to drop the lowest yield stuff from your schedule. This is nice, but it does make one wonder why it needed to be there in the first place. And last, I'll keep this quick, but I think the flashcards are just okay. Kaplan has clearly designed them to be like Anki decks, but I just don't see them being as good. They're a decent mock-up and will do the job, but they're just not the best we've seen. For what it's worth though, if you're going to integrate flashcards into your study schedule, I'd probably just use the actual Anki decks. But anyway, that about does it for this review, so let's get to my final thoughts. Honestly, I really like the integrated study material and modular structure. I think these have been very smartly designed and that the practice tests are much more realistic than they used to be. There are also the workshops, which really do add a ton of value here. So in my eyes, while Kaplan may be a little heavy handed in terms of study material, by and large, it's totally worth it. All of the updates have been for the best, and this is a really strong MCAT course that I don't think anyone preparing to take the MCAT should hesitate to use. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and check out our website at testprepinsight.com and the rest of our YouTube channel for more test prep learning reviews and comparisons. Bye for now.